Look at that, guys, huh? How cr I'm gonna come in from from the back, okay? I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a a, a Dean Cundy. All right, here we go. So I'm um, I'm walking up the steps. I'm standing in front of the banister. Levi is growling, and then from behind me comes that. How creepy is that? That this is this is the answer right here, guys. This is why Michael Myers is still so goddamn relevant today. You know why? Because he's fucking scary. That's why. Okay? It's hard to be scary these these days, guys. It's not easy to be scary. Um like I said, this was not a planned stream i didn't know when i was going to stream this week or if i was going to stream this week but then today i did start noticing some rumblings uh on on social media on twitter about halloween kills and uh the trailer i mean we all kind of figured the trailer was coming in july because of reports that we've already heard but then today there was this site that literally said that the trailer's coming this week and they didn't really give any kind of proof or evidence they just said trailer coming this week matter i'll show you i'll show you the site i have it saved right here hold on so i've never heard of this site um and i can't i can't read that because i i have bad visions okay so it's a uh, let's ott global and uh this is a site this is a a, a twitter handle that has 139,000 followers your number one streaming guide, the only place for breaking news, updates, and reviews from all your favorite OTT platforms. Um, I don't know what OTT stands for. But, uh, I mean, yeah, they, they post this. Halloween Kills, new trailer coming out this week. Okay, let's get some. Uh, let's get a source here. Where are they hearing this information from? And, it, yeah, if you scroll down here, yeah. Um, uh, somebody's asking for Grace Randolph to fly in with her cape and uh, pr see if it's right or wrong which I don't know if Grace Randolph can actually just will it to be done Fandom Empire says uh, you're going to Grace Randolph really <laughs> shout out to Sean man shout out to Sean <laughs> you're going to Grace Randolph of all people okay N nothing against Grace Randolph okay guys I, I don't I mean I know of Grace Randolph I, I'm not a hater okay just a casual knower, I guess. All right. So, yeah. So, yeah, right now I don't see anything. If you guys see anything, let me know. But um, uh, um, it, it could be coming this week. I'm hoping it comes Friday. And maybe they do know something that we don't, you know. Maybe they do um, have a, a very good reputation. Like I said, I've never heard anything bad about this site. Let's OTT Global, okay? So, hopefully they're right hopefully they're right so the way i want to do this tonight too and i did do a little homework um I, I i i did this like right here this whole we're going to talk about these items okay the runtime this week next week continuation middle chapter a little bit about the story we'll, we'll get into all that okay we'll get into all that and like i said i got i got funnies and whatnot but also i kind of want to make this like interactive and i want to read your comments and i just want to see what you guys think it ain't about just what i think Okay, so this is over at Halloween Daily News. This is the latest um, I saw. This is dated June 19th, so three days ago. Okay. Um, Halloween Kills trailer rated in Canada. Runtime revealed. Uh, a, a full official trailer for this year's highly anticipated sequel, Halloween Kills, is coming very soon. As evidenced by the trailer recently receiving a rating from Canada's Motion Picture Ratings Organization where its apparent runtime is also revealed. The Alberta Film Classification Office has rated the Halloween Kills trailer 14 Alpha, 14A in the military, we call that Alpha. Uh, persons under 14 years old must be accompanied by an adult. So does that mean when you're, uh, you're under 14 year olds watching the trailer, you need to be sitting next to them, holding onto their belt loop? I have questions. And further lists the length of the trailer at two minutes and 37 seconds. Uh, the rating is dated June 18th when the trailer was first listed on the Alberta Film Classification Office's official website. Uh, it is listed as a trailer number two 
which is a bit confusing since there has been two brief teaser videos released so far. The first in July 2020, when the film's release date was pushed back a year, and the second in October 2020 during Bloomfest or Blumfest. I always get shit if I call it Bloomfest or Bloom uh, Bloomhouse. It's likely they are considering either the July Let It Burn teaser or the October next Halloween teaser to be trailer number one. Okay. Um, Halloween Kills has been rated R by the Motion Picture Association of America for strong bloody violence throughout grisly images, language, and some drug use. In addition, uh, drug use? Who's using drugs? In? There's probably smoking doobies or something like that. There's a flashback scene, so maybe there's like a, a section with some stoners and they're all smoking pot like crazy and they're listening to uh, Don't Fear the Reaper. Um, and I've been listening to a lot of Don't Fear the Reaper lately for some reason. I like I really freaking love that song. Do you guys like Don't Fear the Reaper? I'll keep reading. Okay. Uh reprising his nineteen seventy eight role as Lindsay Wallace. Uh Nancy Stevens reprising her nineteen seventy eight role as Nurse Marion. Charles Cyphers reprising his nineteen seventy eight role as Lee Brackett. And Anthony Michael Hall, who will be Tommy Doyle. Uh and, yeah, because Brian Andrews is not uh not coming back. As well as Robert Longstreet as Lonnie. Hey Lonnie. Get your ass away from there. And James Jude Courtney and Nick Castle continuing their collaboration as Michael Myers. Uh, also back from Halloween 2018 are Andy Matichek as Alice, Judy Greer, and Dylan Arnold as Cameron. So Cameron's back, guys. And that's the one lingering question that everybody's had above all is, is Cameron back? And now we know. Um, I'm just kidding. Also back from Halloween 2018 are Andy Matichek. As, I already read that. Uh, directed by Devin Gordon Green from a script he co-wrote with Danny McBride and Scott Teams. Halloween Kills uh, was filmed in Wilming Wilmington, North Carolina. John Carpenter returns as an executive producer and has performed the... God, I can't wait to hear that fucking score. Can we get a teaser of the score, please? Right, guys? Beth, are you gonna, are you gonna set them straight or do I have to? Um, Halloween Kills will be released October 15th. 2021 i'm not gonna play those okay i don't i don't want to be reminded of those uh they were cool little teasers but when i go into this trailer i don't want to like i want to forget about the images i've already seen brett um brett says um i know fast nine is not a horror movie but it is a universal movie so it could be thursday trailer release thoughts on the idea i doubt it but maybe oh my god brett oh my god Brett, you just might... You have won the, the $100 prize, okay? Because I didn't even think about that. But it is a universal release. See, the thing is, I thought Fast 9 came out, like, last week. But if the official release for Fast 9 is this week, it makes perfect sense for them to release the Halloween Kills trailer. Because, yeah, it's a horror movie, but based on the money that Halloween 2018 made, you want to put, you want to market this movie with your big guns, okay? And for Universal Fast 9, it's a big gun. Uh, I haven't seen the movie. I've heard it's god-awful, but that doesn't matter. It's, it's the Fast and Furious. It's a franchise. It has its fans. That means you're putting that trailer in front of a lot of freaking people. So it does make sense. So Brett, I'm glad you brought that up, man. I didn't even realize that Fast 9 came out this week. So it does make a lot of sense to drop the trailer on Friday, if if, if I'm being honest. But it also makes me think, though, like, because a lot of theaters, you know, like movies, they'll be advertised for Friday, but they end up putting out the movie on Thursday. Like, you know, back when movies were coming out every week, I would go every Thursday night to see new releases even though they were advertised as friday so um does that mean the trailer for halloween kills if it's attached to fast nine it would be available on thursday night if you wouldn't seen fast nine so um beth says when did they come out with the trailer for halloween 2018 that was like the first or second week in june like that already passed um so we we missed that window because a lot of people did speculate are they going to release it the same uh, you know, day or week that they released um, 
Halloween 2018. And uh, that's just not the case. It's not the case. But um, yeah, Brad does bring up a, a really good point. Now, there is another article that I found that came out right before COVID. And uh, I think it's it's worth reading through because it, there's a lot of good information. Not spoiler information, but good information about Halloween Kills. And it's not that long, all right? Um, everything we know about so far about Halloween Kills. Halloween is not Halloween without Halloween. Wait, what? Halloween is not Halloween without Halloween. Fans of the franchise have enjoyed decades of wondering how Michael doesn't make a peep even when he's being stabbed and it's not over yet. In July 2019, the last two Halloween movies were announced, Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. Uh, this Halloween, Halloween Kills, the newest installation of the film series will be released to catch up to catch you up the most recent reboot um, released in 2018 was set 40 years after the original Lori, her daughter Karen, and her granddaughter Allison teamed up to face Michael together after he escaped from the facility where he was being held. Uh, They thought they killed him in a fire, but in true Halloween fashion, Michael is seen breathing at the end of the movie. This man refuses to die. So what do we know so far about Lori and Michael's penultimate run-in? Okay, the release date, This since this is an old article, I won't even read that because the, the new release date uh, is the 15th of October. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the gang's all here. Jamie Lee Curtis is back, of course, but some old favorites will be returning. I read all that. We already know the cast is coming back, so we don't need to uh, be redundant there. Uh, the House is back. This was interesting. Bloom House confirmed on Twitter that the original Myers house will be shown in the film. And sometimes I forget about that little factoid. Uh, and it, it does make me really excited to see, you know, the, the original Michael Myers house. So I'm wondering if it's going to be like a replica, an exact replica of the house. I mean, they could have went to freaking North Carolina to uh, the guy who has the house that's built to specifications. And, and it is interesting that uh, Halloween 2018 was filmed in North Carolina, and I think Kills was filmed in North Carolina, and there happens to be a Myers house there. So I'll have to look into that and see if maybe the guy that has that house let him use it. I don't know. Uh, something big is going to happen. It's basically a given that the movie will be about Michael trying to kill some people and ultimately get to Jamie Lee Curtis where they will have to battle it out. But beyond that, the producers have been keeping the storyline under wraps. However, James Jude Courtney was on the podcast Pop Culture with Pat, where he said that the ante has been upped. Halloween Kills is supposed to pick up where 2018 left off, but it's supposed supposedly won't be how we assume it will be, which I definitely, uh, I, can, I, I can definitely believe that. And then... Uh, Michael finally talks, and he's British. That's a that's an interesting little uh, tidbit. Um, a, a British Myers. Okay, cool. And, of course, she says, just kidding. So, really, I, I guess the big thing out of that that they gave was that we're going to see the Myers house. Uh, it, it, everything else is, is stuff that we already know at this point. Um, let me ask you guys a question, okay? Because, like I said, I like to make this interactive. What aspect of Halloween Kills are you looking forward to most, Okay. Uh, because I think the one thing that I'm really looking forward to is uh, the flashback scene. I'm really curious to see how that scene is handled. Um, if they're gonna get, like, are they gonna show um, the 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 last part of the first movie, like maybe recreate it in a way from maybe a different angle? Uh, I just I'm very very curious about that scene. It, it could be really cool. Um, and maybe we get to explore a little bit more of stuff that we didn't see, you know, uh, maybe we see Hawkins, how Hawkins caught him uh, in the, one of the fan films actually showed that scene where Hawkins actually caught Myers. So yeah. Uh, Myers house is awesome. Shout out to Kenny. Yeah. That's the guy's name. Kenny. Yeah. Yeah. He had his house built, uh, to specify to, to exact specifications. Really cool. Flashbacks and Dr. Loomis. Yes. Because I think it has been confirmed that we will see Loomis in this movie. Which means this will be the first time we've seen like OG Donald Pleasant's Loomis since Halloween 6. I mean, how cool is that, right? Maybe they will finally disclose what the mystery substance was 
in the punch bowl at the dance. I can actually they did confirm that Panda Watch. It was nacho cheese dip. But I think because it had those like purple lights on it, it, it looked kind of weird. And I didn't know that for like a couple years. I always wondered, like, what was that purple dip that the phone went into? And what a dick move to throw a freaking phone. Like, you don't throw somebody's phone. Fu- Who throws a phone? You don't throw somebody's phone in, a, in, in the dip, right? Carly, what's up? How to make Halloween a comedy. Make Michael talk. Make Michael British. Guess it would kind of make sense, though, considering he spent a lot of of time with Loomis <laughs> that is that's actually a good point it actually lines up if you really think about it I mean who's the guy that he spent most of his time with what so that is a revelation what if Myers is actually British he just doesn't talk but if he talked he's like I'm going to kill you now like and I'm going to have you for tea I do a horrible British accent by the way so let me go over to my topics here and I'm gonna try my best not to be redundant um we talked about the uh, the runtime, two minutes thirty seven seconds. Um, is it this week or next week? Brett brought brought up a really good point. I think uh, there is a chance. There's a shot in the dark that um, it could be attached to F nine uh, because it is universal. And that I mean, if you want to put a trailer out to your audience, that's your best opportunity right there. That's a lot of exposure. So. If we if we get a trailer on Friday, I would not be surprised. I really would not be surprised at all. Um, now, one thing I do love about Halloween Kills uh, is that it is a direct continuation of Halloween 2018. You know, this is we haven't done this, not really like for the full movie since Halloween uh, to Halloween Two. You know, Halloween Two took place on the same night. Uh, you could say Halloween 5 picks up where 4 left off, but then we, we pause for like a year. This movie, it, we're still continuing on the same night, and it sounds like it's even more crazy and more chaotic and insane. Um, next, next thing I want to talk about is middle chapters. I have always been very interested in middle chapters and I do often find myself enjoying middle chapters the most uh, out of a planned trilogy Um, Empire Strikes Back is easily my favorite of that trilogy my favorite Star Wars film period Um, Two Towers debatable sure but Two Towers is my favorite Lord of the Rings film Um, but I think those all three of those movies are really really close but Two Towers that gets my vote I like Two Towers uh, and I think just the reason is because a middle chapter, more times than not, it seems like middle chapters end on a like uh, like an oh shit moment where you know I just did oh shit moments part two, um, and we all love those moments, those oh shit moments. So there's a very good possibility that the ending of Halloween Kills, I mean, it could leave us a huge cliffhanger, and we could you know it could leave us salivating and wanting more, like oh my god, can Halloween ends get here now because that was insane i think there's a great shot that that's going to happen i'm trying to think of other middle chapters that i like the best but i mean yeah i think you get my point you know i think you get my point um now one of the premises here that this is something that i've never uh plot wise i've never seen before in any franchise where it's myers versus the mob not the mob like you know organized crime but just a mob of locals a mob of people you had a little bit of that in halloween 4 i guess um, and I remember like in the original, um, the original script that I think Carpenter and them wrote before they gave up the rights, it was going to be how the holiday of Halloween affects Haddonfield as a town and they, they end up bringing Myers back somehow. I haven't read that script, but it, it, it involves dealing with the, the townspeople of Haddonfield. This is going to be that. I mean, most of the time, it's Myers by himself, stalking, and, you know, on his own. But uh, in this movie, it's got to be Myers, and everybody's coming after him, you know? This might be one of the few times we see Myers, like, you know, stressed out. Which I doubt Myers is going to be stressed out, because he's so fucking gone. But uh, I- I'm just curious to see what Myers' reaction is going to be to that. You know, to to having everybody coming after him. And how is he going to deal with that? This is something that we've never dealt with before in the franchise. It could be 
hella interesting, and it, it's definitely going to be bloody as fuck. I guarantee you. Which leads me to my next point. Um, this, from what I have heard, is going to be like highly emotional, and I put that in quotes because I want to say I think it was Jamie Lee Curtis herself stated that that this is going to be a very emotional film, and I've heard that from other parties too. Um, probably one of the most emotional films in the franchise you know i would say and i don't know anything but i would say don't expect to leave this film uh you know in a great mood and wanting to get ice cream after you know it it could be a downer of an ending because again it's a middle chapter it's been said that it's highly emotional uh and it might there might be some processing required after watching this movie i'm thinking you know I, i i honestly think this might be the type of movie that you want to watch a couple times just to process it all because I think it's going to be just completely uh, emotionally chaotic. I think that's a good phrase for it. Thinking about the characters, I think the one character that I am probably the most excited about is Lindsay Wallace because this is a character that we have not seen since the first movie. Even any... uh, Now, there was an actress that played the character Lindsay in Halloween 4, but... I mean, she's literally driving uh, Rachel to the store, and that's it. You know, so she doesn't really have a part. I mean, this is the first time we're actually going to see the character Lindsay, and I'm so curious to see what they do. Um, if you look at that picture right there, I'm pretty sure that's Lindsay Wallace that Michael is going after. Um, I think that's going to be one of the best best scenes in the movie, if I'm being honest, because bringing that character back, you definitely want to make it count. So I'm I'm so excited about seeing what they do with that character. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Uh, Carly says, a good, I love when a horror movie breaks my heart, especially when it has something to do with the betrayal. I agree. Um, I actually, yeah, I actually did a top 10, like emotional horror movies or a cry horror. That's what I called it. Top 10 cry horror. And that is something that I do love uh, in good horror movies. If they're emotional, if they, you know, uh, you know, pull a tear out. Uh, and I think that's one of the reasons why I love the movie The Descent so much. The Descent is one of my favorite horror movies because of how emotional it is. Because of uh, this character, Sarah, uh, you know, she starts out that movie a completely different person than she is by the end of the movie. It's almost like a rebirth by the end of the movie. And it's one of the few horror movies that I, I like, I can't make it through that movie without tearing up. It is just heartbreaking to see what this character goes through in that movie and guys that's what i'm thinking halloween kills is going to be i'm thinking halloween kills is going to be a freaking gut punch and a half you know and you're going to have to wait a year to see how it all comes comes to a head uh so uh, i'm so excited so excited um jacob uh whitley says i just think it would be a perfect chance for michael to uh to have michael win Make a memorable ending and raise the stakes for Halloween ends. I agree with that. I think it would be really cool uh, if, A, Michael kills Laurie Strode, and B, uh, he's gone at the end, you know? I, I think it would be so awesome if the, 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 the people of Haddonfield think that they have the upper hand. Because we all know how Michael is always like two steps ahead of everybody. He's not a dumb guy. Um, and it would be so cool if they think they've won and then somehow Michael wins at the end of Kills. And he's gone and they're like, shit. You know, we were this close to having him. He was right here. And then nothing, you know. And, and then there's this possibility for it. And I've even heard, and this this is coming from Jamie Lee Curtis, actually. You can dig this up. But Jamie Lee Curtis has stated that ends is more about the violence. And I, now I've heard kills is extremely violent, but I've heard ends is like, it's supposed to the story wise, cause they haven't even shot it yet, but ends is completely chaotic and supposed to be crazy. So these tip and buckle up kiddos. Okay. Cause these next two movies could be fucking crazy. Insane. 